Hello there everyone, Kimmy Sandwich here, and today I'm going to play some of the Dead Linger Alpha. Um, the Build 14, the update, came out a few days ago, I think on Friday, on Friday the 29th, or something like that. And today is Monday, July 1st, no, it came out on the 28th, I'm stupid, it came out on the 28th, today is Monday the 30th, so it came out on Friday, wait, I don't know what I'm saying. It just it came out like two days ago or three days ago or whatever. So I checked it out once and it looks a lot better than it used to. So let's see how it goes. Again, this is only in alpha, so it's not going to look amazing. But eventually, I think this game will catch up with what most people want in their zombie games or open world zombie environments. The zombies look like clay models of assholes, to be honest, but trust me, they're going to change. I think next update, they're supposed to change a little bit, the zombie models. Look how ugly they look. They're just white and bald and bloody. Um, this looks a lot better than it did before, trust me. Like, I'll show you right now. This is, this is before. And you guys can see how bad it looks. It's, I mean, it's not bad, but it could be a lot better than what it was, <laughs> and it is. And it's, I feel bad for it, because not, I don't feel bad for it at all. Actually, it's, it's a game. They have no feelings. But that's before, and this is after. I'll show you guys the barn in a second and everything that I showed you I'll try to look for it this is just gonna be a quick kind of comparison kind of thing but I'm also gonna be playing it I might get really bad frame drops when I get really near the zombies but whatevs the trees look so much better if you guys can see the grass looks a lot better the terrain the it just looks beautiful and if you guys wonder where I'm heading, I'm heading toward the barn that's down there. Right down there. Little cornfield. Down there. And these rocks. I don't know why there's giant rocks everywhere, to be honest. I'm not sure if that's a glitch or if that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, that's a lot of rocks, though. Look at that whore down there. Look at, my, look at the hammer I have in my hand. Oh, and if you guys don't know, this is, this is the inventory system. Your backpack or your yourself your waist blah blah and my stamina is complete shit right now regaining that 
but there's a quite a bit of things you can do right now there's crafting um there's for um you can fortify your shelter to make it so zombies can't get attacked because right now zombies are actually pretty smart they can climb through windows break down doors and you know stuff like that and you just break through shit and you got to fortify your shelter if not they're going to come and attack you and destroy you you could also, if you want to, you could even build a treehouse. You get a whole bunch of plywood, which you find around the world, or you can make yourself plywood or wood. And you just, if you have a hammer, which I do right now, my hand, this hammer right here. Because right now in build 14, you spawn with the hammer. So let's say I had a piece of wood right now. You would just pick it up and go next to a tree and hammer it. And it'll stick on there. And then you just grab more wood. And what's happening? Justice Valley Ranch. Okay, I lagged there. Another quick lag. Another lag. Jeez, I had zero frames per second for a second there. Um, but, yeah, and you just grab more wood. You can build yourself a tree house. You can build yourself a house on top of a house. You could, you could, there's a lot of things you could do in this game. And this game has so much potential and just, it's only an alpha. And it's actually a lot of things you could do already. Um, I think the next update is this update right now is focused on performance updates and it's still glitchy They're supposed to have a hotfix for it because some things didn't go through well, but this update was focused more on performance and on Kind of a graphical update a little bit in a way and next update is sirens of a city. So they're adding Sirens and probably cities and I think they're also supposed to update their zombie models and even their What? I thought I heard something. It's supposed to update their zombie models, and I think they're, um... Uh... Adding... Oh, of course, they're adding cities. Zombie models are adding clothing. They're adding just... I don't know. I don't know what they're adding. They're, it's, it's an update, just know that. And every, up, every Friday, they actually tell you... With the dev blog, they show you what's up next or what they're working on and stuff and I keep on getting such bad frame drops oh my god I think the game's only 15 no I think $20 right now or 15 or 20 but when t when the game reaches beta it's probably gonna they're gonna raise the price to probably $30 and this happens every once in a while now to refresh the world but it probably won't happen in future updates at least as much Whoa. But it probably won't happen in future updates, at least as much as it does right now. And it froze for a second there. I got it back. This is about this is the farm area. If you guys remember the barn that I showed you before, which how crappy it looked. But yeah, look at this is the cornfields. Beautiful cornfields. They'll probably eventually have corn. And this is a little barn area. They fixed the silos so you can actually get out of them. I got stuck in one one time. Am I seriously going to be stuck in here forever? How the, how the fuck do you get out? Seriously, what the fuck? What the fuck? And I had, I had to just start a new game because you can't even kill yourself. You probably starve eventually. This is the barn house. The house that's right in front of the barn at all times. And this is the barn itself it looks way better than it used to trust me from what you guys saw vast improvements there'll probably eventually be maybe zombie horses in here for all i know and let's check it out upstairs whoa look at my fist of fury okay is there anything up here Usually loot spawns up here. Um, right now the loot system is kind of whack to be honest. The loot looks really cheesy. And usually if you find a gun, there's ammo right next to it. But eventually um, it's not going to be so easy. Because with every update they're adding foliage, new items, new loot. Graphical performance updates. Um, they're supposed to add... Oh, there's, see there's a gun right there. Move, hey. Got a sniper rifle. So let's pick up. Let's put the hammer on my backpack. Put 
the sniper in my hand. And it's, this is the ammo for the sniper, because it, it comes with it. Let's load the sniper with this really cheesy animation that they're eventually going to fix and make it look better. And let's head on over here and get on our back out. This is the new silo. There it is. And this is the inside of it. It looks kind of creepy and cool. Now you can actually get out before this this hole was not here. The hole was just not existent. I can never get out of that, that thing. But eventually there's gonna be so many ways you can find loot. Eventually you're probably gonna be able to open mailboxes, find stuff in there. You're probably gonna be able to open a closet. Okay, this this sniper rifle is really getting in the way. Look at that, look at that beautiful corn, how you how it's so horrible looking from far away. And there's a town over there, so head over there right now. Before I before I do that, I'm gonna switch this. What? You know what? I don't even need this sniper right now. Let's. Wait, what is this? Oh, what the gump? This is actually the plywood and stuff you can pick up. So now that I'm here, I don't know why it's there. I think that's a glitch. This is what I mean by you, you can build whatever you want, any way you want. Like right there, you see I just stuck it at an angle? Bam. That's really ugly, I'm sorry about that. Oh, it was a really bad example. But yeah, you can do stuff like that anywhere you want. I think except on grass, it has to be an actual platform like a tree. But I don't know, because those things look really funny standing up. So I'm going to head over there to that town. And eventually there's going to be cars, there's going to be NPCs. Where they're going to be nice NPCs, bad NPCs. There's going to be running water in some houses. There's going to be better noises such as like tap water, like little taps of like the sink being broken. It's going to be weather. It's, right now there's no form of water, like lakes or anything, but eventually there's going to be that. Hunting of boar, bears probably. There's deer right now, deer and rabbits. There's going to be new buildings, new houses, a whole bunch of new loot. And multiplayer, there's also multiplayer for this game. They're also going to fix the way your arms look, most likely. They look really funny. And this is what uh, a, little, a little village looks like, or a little town. And usually these houses are... What should we call it? Usually these houses actually have a pretty good amount of loot inside of them. I think these, yeah, these are all, most of these are two-story, or two, yeah, two, whatever. Two-story little houses, and they have, like, five bedrooms in total, I think. And usually around three of those bedrooms, what the heck? That's not supposed to happen. Usually two of these bedrooms have at least pretty good loot. Again, alpha, that's eventually going to be connecting. I think it is supposed to be, I think it's just glitchy. And these horrible frame drops. So there's a zombie over there. There's all there's one form of vehicle though in the game. It's a bicycle. It's really funny when you ride it right now though. <laughs> um, let's get over this. And let me actually show you inside of a house after I stop losing complete. Oh, that's refreshing. That's why. Okie dokie. Derby dumber, herber derber. Okay, 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 okay. Is there any loot right here? No, let's let's show you inside of a house real quick. It's really creepy, and let's... You have a flashlight right now. Painting... A, whoa, my voice cracked. You have a painting right here. <laughs> I, can't do, I can't do anything with that painting. But you could also move furniture to, let's say... 
Whoa. You can move furniture and put it in front of doors so zombies can't get in. Stay. And let's... Whoa. Okay. It's Everything is still pretty glitchy right now. It's still an alpha. Let's see. So... You open this room. See, there's a shotgun in here. You open this room. It's a bathroom. Usually bathrooms don't have much loot, but I'm guessing... These things are eventually going to have stuff inside of them. And that's how you open curtains. And that's how you break a window. Oh, they have pl there's a plunger you can use to attack zombies with. But I wouldn't recommend fending yourself off in a zombie apocalypse with a plunger. You also have a cowboy hat right here. Which looks really stank right now. There's backpacks. Whoa. And backpacks widely, they like, they expand your inventory by a lot. So let me show you. Look at this. You went from this three little thing right here to this. And let's take out this cowboy hat, it's really bothering me. So I picked up duct tape. You can use that eventually to make, I think, bombs, like little mini bombs. You can use it to fix things and just whatever you would use duct tape for. But you guys see how, how the houses are. Yeah, they still look the same as they did in the last update, but eventually they're going to change up a lot. Little bag of cocaine over here. Yes, there is cocaine. No, there's not cocaine in the game. I don't know what this is, actually. A messenger bag. Oh, it's like another backpack. It's just way smaller. So, yeah, that's exactly how the houses look like. Those are the big houses. There's also smaller houses. And there's cabins in the woods. Which, those are actually really cool. Those wood cabins are what actually what I would, where I'm going to live in when I start my journey in this game. In my next video. So this is... I'm not sure what this is. I think it's supposed to be a... Kind of like a Walmart kind of thing. Oh no, there's... Yeah, I think so. Kind of, sort of like a Walmart sort of plaza. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Is this the door? I don't think I've ever been in one of these buildings, to be honest. Oh, this is creepy. That building's creepy, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, I think this is supposed to be kind of like a supply shop thing. A Walmart kind of store. There's a lot of stuff in here, though. Yeah, it's like a really, really bad representation of what Walmart kind of looks like. But, you know, whatever, let's get out of here, it's kind of creepy. Even though for what cheesy graphics it has, this game has some really, really creepy environments. And it's just, it, it makes you not want to go inside of them. Look how dark it is in there. With the, without the flashlight, with it, it's, it's so dark. It's creepy. Even though you know what, even though you know what's lurking in it, it's so creepy. And over here, this is an office building, which I'm headed to right now. And the office buildings are, um, offices. That's weird. There's a little hole right there. Not sure what for. If you guys heard that. Oh, yeah, it is. It is a warmer kind of store. Leland's. Okay. I'm going to guess Leland's is some guy who works at the, at the place. Okay, so this is an office building. And I don't think the office building has much right now. At all. I think. I think these are actually new. I don't remember ever seeing one of these. I think, yeah, these came with build 14. I'm getting hungry, as you got to see in the bot in the corner. Oh, yeah, there's a zombie up there. Yep, these office buildings are pretty new. And since they're new, they're all empty. So I'm going to guess in the next chapter, they're going to add more detail with them. These are all brand new. Creepy. Hey there, ugly zombie. Where are you going? I don't know where you're going. But this is basically the game right now. I'm just kind of showing you guys what the game is like. If you guys want to buy it, it's, I think, 20, 15, 15 or 20 dollars on Steam. If you have any issues with the game, like me right now with frame drops, you can literally go on their Twitter or on their forums and they will respond within 10 minutes to an hour. They always respond. If you have any questions with the game, they, it's one of like the best like dev teams I actually know that... Uh, they, they just respond so fast and they're just they feel like they're great people 
So, this is basically the game right now. There's a lot more you can do, I'm just not showing it yet. I will in the next video where I actually play it. So, the trees look so nice. I think the terrain looks really nice. What needs a lot of work is basically the real mechanics of the game. Like, right now, see all those big rocks? They don't need to be here. Maybe a few rocks every once in a while, but they don't really need to be here. And maybe a little more terrain work on the way the terrain forms. Like right there, there's a tree inside of a, a rock. But yeah, this game is actually, for what it is right now, it's a lot of fun. And I actually recommend it, maybe for not long hours to play right now, but in the next few updates, it's going to be up to par with DayZ and maybe H1Z1 and Seven Days to Die. Because those are the only zombie games that are actually interesting right now. And this game is definitely going to be up to par with them in the near future i say by december or maybe early next or early 2015 so if you guys ever want to just it's only like 20 15 20 dollars support their company or support the game not their company support the game and i promise you you will not be you will not be disappointed when the actual game finishes and comes out because again this is alpha so i really hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll be making a series on this game pretty soon and it's going to be fun. So if you liked the video, make sure to like the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and keep me sandwich and I'm sending out. Have a good night, guys. Ain't nobody mess with the Cuban sandwich.